Hi everybody, Insomniac Mike again, and welcome back to The Crooked Man, Episode 3, What's Behind the Door? I know it's been a while since uh, I've done an episode, I've been really busy with work and I apologize, uh, but we're going to get into this, and let me just set my timer here, make sure I don't have the episode going long. <clears throat> Because people got better things to do than to sit around all day watching my stuff. But uh, if you don't, I am honored. And you need to get a life. Okay, we're getting into this. Uh, I'm curious as to see uh, what exactly was behind the door here. Alright, what was I doing? This is That's what I was doing. Okay, I had the doorknob and I was going to go through this door. <coughs> Attach the doorknob. Okay, uh... Nothing too crazy was behind the door. I apologize, that was a bad cliffhanger. Uh, book of the Month. Do uh, the Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Is this, uh, is this an illusion? Uh, for, uh, or foreshadowing for what we're going to find out later? That I am the monster? Because, like, there are so many parallels between this guy who's leaving all these notes for us and uh, David's life. It looks like there's some kind of trap door or something. Small door which one does, doesn't seem to have a lock. Okay, um, do I have a... I got a key or something? Brass key. I think I used that earlier. Uh, can I burn it? No? Can I open it from this side? Doesn't seem... To, okay. Trash can's empty. Okay, well, what was I supposed to do? Hotel administration. Well, I don't know. Okay, this is ticking me off. What was the point of coming over here? Uh, do I go back to the library? Because uh, the book of the month, was there another, was there like a key or something there? Okay, no, this was not the library. It's been a couple days since I played, forgive me. Uh, do 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 do. Here we go to the library. Da da da. It isn't really a very good Indiana Jones thing, although most of what he would do, being an archaeologist, would be to go to the library for reference material. That's not really something you find there. Um, Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, I'm just not even going by their keeping system. I'm just checking everything. Is it back over here? Uh, Cry of the Unseen. Do you consider yourself kind? You don't get to decide that. It's decided in the unconscious. Even if you believe you are cold-hearted, you may be warm and emotional inside, and they will sniff it out. They will be lured by your kindness, and they will drag you away. Okay. Maybe that's something I looked at earlier and just didn't read it. Uh the dark outside. Uh decorative plant. Um Okay. I'm missing something here. You got me on this one. All right, we're gonna try to fast forward to uh, when I get this shit figured out. Okay. Okay. I found it. There's a lighter colored tile over here I should have been paying attention to. Dumb me. Uh, let's stomp on it. Okay, um, did that open up the thing? It opened up the thing! Uh, is there a mega... Okay, David's now caught up with the rest of us. There's a ladder, and it goes down. Where else? Maybe I should check this out. Usually basements are bad. Remember Calm Time, what was in my basement? I'm guessing this might be worse. Uh, I can't see a thing, I need a light. Oh, okay, well I have a lighter I've been trying to use all game. Uh, 
Didn't know if I needed to tell you to take that out, David. Okay, so what's down here? Lamp oil. Well, can we use the lamp oil? Why do I have to use my lighter? I feel like that's going to run out. Miscellaneous goods. Uh, hi! Who are you? A figure crouches on the floor. Oh, this isn't going to be good. What the hell? Stupid crappy apartment. I actually do live in a crappy apartment too, so I'm hearing this like creaking shit behind me, and this is getting kind of, this is getting kind of freaky, man. Okay, we're gonna continue on with this game because I'm a big brave dog. I'm not, but I'm gonna pretend I am. Uh, are you okay? Are you locked in here? Go zombie! Now is the time for running. Now is not the time to be asking questions. Oh, I should do that in my Bane voice. Now is not the time to be asking questions. That comes later. Now is the time for running. But are you okay? Whoa! Oh, no. No, I want to run. I want to run now. Get me... No! Get me out of here! No! I don't want to... Holy shit! Oh dear God, that is creepy. Uh, this must be the Crooked Man, I'm guessing, because his head's all wobbly wibbly and not right. And I want it out of here now. Get up the ladder. Get up the ladder. Fuck! What I do? What I do wrong? What I do wrong? I did something wrong. No. Shake off. Shake it off. Shake it off. Shake it off. Get off. Get off me. Fuck you. No. Don't sit down. Don't sit down. No. No, we leave the hotel and burn it down. What was... Its neck was all crooked. Can't have been human. No, typically people's necks don't do that. Unless you belong to some weird African tribe and you had, like, the gold neck thing and you took that off. I saw that in a video once. That was kind of cool that uh, National Geographic was able to find somebody willing to take theirs off for a little bit. Anyway, back to the game. Am I just going nuts here? That thing, it couldn't have been real. Yeah, no. I must have been seeing things. Yeah, well, typically your, your hallucinations don't grab you by the leg, David. You just, uh... Unless we're into some weird fight club shit now, we need to be leaving. I'm just so tired is all. Oh, I feel sick. Ever the doubting Thomas, David. I wonder what Sissy's up to. Did she find what she came for? No, we need to grab her and leave, because we're about all about to get eaten. Uh... Where was she? She was, uh... Went somewhere? I don't know. I don't know where Sissy went. she back with the piano? No. she in the ballroom? The wind suddenly just stopped in this game. Okay, no, it's back. It's back. Oh, no, all these doors are locked up here. I don't, like... Some people can see, like, my curtains, my blinders moving in the background of my face cam. Uh, that's my dog doing that. I'm not, like, getting stalked by something hiding behind the curtains. That's my dog. It's Maggie. I'll, and I'll introduce you guys in a vlog at some point, who Maggie is. Okay, nothing up here. Man, I'm just like, just gonna be fumbling through this game. Back and forth. Why did I come back up here? <laughs> oh, shit! Uh, which, which was the, the door that wasn't locked? Holy crap! Oh, this place isn't safe. I, I went to the window and the floor gave away. What should I do? Sissy, jump over here. It's dangerous over there. Okay. Oh no, I can't. I'm slipping. And I can't possibly jump that far. I got this big. God. This is no time for pessimism. It's going to crumble quick. Hurry, I'll catch you. 
Oh shit, you were right, David. That, that was too close. Are you okay, sissy? Are you hurt? Sissy? Oh. So scared. I was scared. No more. I I don't like the dark. Why? Why do I? I... It's okay, sissy. Uh, this is kind of cliche. Can I get a stronger female character, please? I'm sorry. I know you were scared, but it's fine now. Don't cry. I mean, this is this is cool for the the story and the plot line, but this is like a kind of like an old dynamic between like the male protagonist and a female uh, companion character. I I'm sorry. I was scared and confused. It's all right. I'm glad you're not hurt. Did you find what you were looking for? No, not yet. I, it wasn't in the room we stayed in. I wonder where it could be. It must be important if you're looking all alone. You can always just give up on it. It's not entirely safe here. I, I can't give up on it. I have to find it. What is it exactly? Sorry to ask, but I've been wondering. Was it a present, or...? It's a present from my boyfriend. It's the most important thing to me, after my own life. Ah, oh, I see. Sorry if I was rude. I'll keep looking for it, too. You're looking for someone, right? But I haven't met anyone yet, but... Can you tell me more about them? Uh, well... I don't know that much either. Just that he's a man about my age. Do you, you know that little about the person you're looking for? <laughs> you're a strange guy, David. I, I, I'm not. There's just some things I want to ask, and I don't know how he looks because, um... Strange, but very kind. I would have been hurt badly if you weren't here. I'm really grateful to you for saving me. I should get going. Take care, David. I'll see you. <coughs> okay, well, that's a big fucking hole. Uh, I couldn't jump down it or anything. Probably, I don't really even want to. Okay, what do you got for me now, game? Nothing, I'm gonna have to find something? Okay. Keyhole won't open, won't open, won't open, back in the library, nothing's going on, so I'm leaving. <sighs> I'm back in the same room. I keep thinking, like, another, like, plot thing's gonna jump out at me. Can I go outside now? I need a cigarette break. I don't think I can smoke in here. All right. I'm going to I'm going to cut till I find something. Okay. Anyway, we are a little out of time on this video. I know I'm going to cut some of this down, uh, make it short little mini-sodes like I said. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. We found the crooked man. We know what's going to eat us now. Yay! And uh, something is going on with Sissy. Uh, we're going to figure that out hopefully on the next episode when I'm not so turned around. And uh, I'm not so pissed off at being lost all the damn time. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and join us again in episode 4. What the fuck am I supposed to be doing? It's a working title. Bye!